Hello, this is Torior and welcome back to Let's Play EU4S Riga. Uh, we saw an opportunity to attack Pomerania and so we did. Uh, breaking their alliance with Poland in the process. I am worried though that taking too much land from them will be... well, will cause us to get too much aggressive expansion and possibly a coalition. And we do want to prevent that. Oh, we gained some transports. How did that happen? Well, I certainly want to... Wait a minute, what did I do again? I certainly want to detach them, send them home. You guys will be protecting trade in the Baltic Sea trade node, which will mean that you will have to repair first. Okay, now we have mm, conquered all of Pomerania, basically. We could go to Würzburg. Can we get there? We could go to Würzburg to get some more money from this war. I wonder if we should, or should we just end it? Let's see. Let's see how much aggressive expansion we get. Mm, that's not a lot. Teutonic Order, Pomerania and Denmark hate us already. Mecklenburg sort of hates us as well. <laughs> oh no. Uh, what if I take this one instead? Mm. That. You know what, we should just take the two that we have claims on. Because otherwise we will be the target of a coalition. Oh, also let me see if we could... Could we vassalize you? We could actually vassalize them. But that would be a lot of aggressive expansion. We don't want that. We want just as much as we can handle without triggering a coalition. So let's take those two. Pomerania, Denmark, Teutonic Order and Mecklenburg will be able to join the coalition, but probably won't. Only Denmark and Mecklenburg will be able to join the coalition, because I do intend to attack the Teutonic Order once the truce is over. Okay, so we'll take that much. Also, give me all the money that you have. Give me war reparations. Annul your treaties. Do I want to annul their treaties? Um, I sort of don't want to attack them again for some time. So I would like to make the truce long and give me some prestige. Do I want you to return cause? I suppose I could return something. I could return something to Brandenburg because Brandenburg is my ally. What if I do that? Brandenburg will love me for that. Oh, of course, I forgot to rival Pomerania. That was dumb. And that'll cost me some Diplo points, but I think I want to make the truce as long as possible. Also, that will make Brandenburg owe me a lot of favors, which in turn... Oh, not to Teutonic Order, to Brandenburg. Whew, that was close. Mm, it will make them owe me a lot of favors, which in turn should mean that Brandenburg will join any war that I start. Because we're still allied, aren't we? Yes, yes we are. So I think, mm, even though we would have to pay some Diplo points for that, I think I do want a good ally. So you will return a cause to Brandenburg, give me two of your provinces and later the rest, and give me all your money, war reparations also. Do I want them to transfer trade power to me? That would cost us a diplo relation, so I don't think so. Give up claims in Brandenburg, because they're my ally. Give up claims in Riga, because it's me. I don't really care about the claims, though. Mm, I'm just trying to make the truce as long as possible, and and get some more prestige from it, because I don't want them joining the coalition. Okay, you guys annul, annul your treaties as well. And that will do it. Let's unpause the game. Okay, so we have gained... oh, we gained a fort. Interesting. Those provinces are pretty poor, but uh, every little bit helps. Also, I should I destroy the fort? It sort of stops everyone from the HRE trying to come into our lands. Maybe I'll keep this one. Obviously, I will multiple it, though. Okay, all our guys go home. I will disband mercenaries soon. Soon-ish. Uh, let's see my naval force limit. Oh, it hasn't updated yet, has it? Oh, it has. It's not very big. Poland, do you love me? Mm, sort of. Let's make sure they like me as much as possible. When does the claim expire? 1504, 1505, and 1503. And the truce expires in uh, 
1492, which is good. I might want to switch to better relations over time, guy, but I'm not sure we are there yet when it comes to level 2 advisors. Okay, let's uh, core those provinces. Great, wonderful. Now we will start... Oh no, unlawful territory, I forgot about that. Sorry, Austria, please don't hate me. I completely forgot about unlawful territory. We'll get quite a bit of unrest here. Once we have re refused that demand, and we have, we are going to refuse that demand, I am sure. So, nobility wants more land again. Which of them has decent manpower? And this one has decent manpower. So here you go, nobility. I could, okay, the unrest is horrible. I could actually station a unit there. Make sure that we disband all the mercenaries. Oh, I should have clicked the button to detach mercenaries. Would have been easier. Well, it's done. Okay, destroy the mercenaries. And the regular armies will have reduced maintenance for now. I will keep them in our capital. But when the rebels are about to raise up, and they will... Um, whoops, the truce with Moscow has ended. And they hate me now. They hate me now. Could I? Can I declare war on you, perhaps? And have someone back me? Crimea doesn't mm, have money. Brandenburg doesn't have money. Poland. We don't have enough favors. And oh, that's fine. We will wait before we start another big war. It's important that Poland likes us, and so does Brandenburg. And Brandenburg actually owes us a bit of, um, quite a lot of favors because, um, because we have given them territory back. Hmm. Oh well. Those favors are quite an interesting mechanic. I'm not sure. I am not sure I like it, but they, they sure are interesting. So I can rival Pomerania now, but now is a bit late. Bohemia, I am. Oh no, 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 no! That's not what I wanted to do. Bohemia, I really want you to like me, even though you don't seem to like me. So let's improve relations with them. Last thing I need is a beef with Bohemia. So far, only Denmark hates me. Who's devotion or stability? Devotion, obviously. Okay, so taking provinces we had claims on was not that bad. Teutonic separatists, Varmia, here. Well, I suppose I could let them rebel, but if I was going to let them rebel, I should have kept... I should have uh, kept the autonomy non-reduced over here as well. No, non, not increased. Well, we have increased autonomy here, but the unrest is going to cause a rebellion anyway. It will quell a little bit once we have caught the province, though. Mm, still no theologian available. Do I get a better one here? Force limit modifier against reinforced speed. You know what? I could actually use more modifier. Yeah, Teutonic Separatists. I do have to increase autonomy here. That is unfortunate, but I don't want to deal with rebels. Hmm... Okay, relations with Poland improved as much as possible. Let's do the same with Lithuania just in case. Muscovy hates me. Because they want my provinces. Hmm. Maybe I could improve relations enough that they wouldn't. I don't have a free missionary uh, diplomat. Another merchant. That is nice. Let's see what I can do with them. We now have some territory in this trade node, but we don't really have any power. Mm. What is our trade power? Can I see our trade power? Maybe here. Riga. Zero. Hmm. Never mind then. I could transfer some. Can I reach Kazan? Or Kiev? Where do I have more power? I actually have more in Krakow than, than up there. Can I transfer trade power here? I can. 
Let's see how it works out. Is being zero is being sent forward, and quite a bit is being sent forward actually. That should increase our income a bit. So now, what I should check is how my trade income changes when I switch my ships from the Baltic Sea trade node to the Novgorod trade node. 10.17 is the current income. Now, if I switch them to Novgorod, 10.17. Oh, that's better. 11.48. That is actually better. Okay, we've gained the cause. That's good. Up to 12. Really? Hmm. I will wait one more month to make sure, and then I will check if it changes if I split them in half. And half of them does what they used to do, and the other half protects it in the Baltic Sea trade node. Seems like Novgorod is the better choice, but let's make sure. Because I don't really trust those numbers that are displayed when you uh, send them out to do the trading. Okay, it decreased a little bit. Let's just wait another month. Yeah, it's more if we go to Novgorod, so everyone can protect our trade interests in Novgorod. Now, that means that the guy down here transferring trade power should actually be transferring it north. But I will make sure shortly after we have uh, checked it. Okay, so that's back to 12 almost. And if I switch this up, this should change. This should become higher. It has become higher. See how rich we are now. <laughs> like a proper country we are. Well, we are elongated quite severely. Hopefully I can... Oh, Bohemia loves me. Yes, yes, I will start an alliance with you. Yes, thank you very much. I did not expect them to love me. They love me. Now we are safe from Poland. Because if we get attacked, Austria and Bohemia will defend us. And they are together stronger than Poland and Lithuania. Now, look at Scotland. Isn't that neat? <laughs> Let's look at the rest of the world. Mm, Ottomans, sort of predictable. Didn't expand a lot. Crimea, it's fine, I suppose. Bohemia hates Austria. I did want Austria to like me, but it doesn't seem like it's happening. Oh, Brandenburg has votes. Really? Well, we are allied with Brandenburg, so having them as emperor would not be that bad. Maybe they would even give us... Uh, they do trust us a lot, don't they? Mm. We can be increased by spending favors. Well, we might do that. We mostly gave them stuff so that they would be a better ally towards us. Mm. Yeah, I'll take that. Inc decreasing unrest would be quite helpful. If I knew I would get him, I didn't, wouldn't need to increase autonomy in Varmia. So that's fine. Um, should I multiple this fleet or just sell it? What's my naval force limit? Oh, it, gone, it has gone down. Oh, right, because I increased autonomy here. That hurts. Would you like to buy a fleet from me? No, you wouldn't. Mm, who doesn't hate me? Sweden, would you like to buy a fleet from me? Economy, sell ships. You don't need them. Mecklenburg? You are in debt. I don't know who else would like my ships. Muscovy. You hate me, I think, so probably not. Yeah, hates me. What about the guys over there? Hamburg. I would just... Oh, no fleet in supply range. What if I... Oops, wrong. If I just move you over there. Maybe you will be more willing to buy those ships. I don't need them. 
I think I captured them, I'm not sure. Okay, sell ships. Yes, you would. For zero. For 20. Oh, 20 is good. Yeah. Great, take them. Wonderful. 20 ducats for nothing. Now, we're still over our naval force limit, but I, I don't want to destroy those ships. And maintenance is... Hmm, maintenance is not that bad. I'm okay with that, because I do expect my trade um, income to remedy anything I get from, you know, from the negatives. Also, I do expect my naval force limit to increase, and we finally get cannons, which is good, because I was about to reinforce my army. And I can only afford one cannon, but that's fine. Hmm, and I can build some improvements. Do I want to? I think I do. I think I do want to. Even though... I mean, we have everything in the Baltic Sea trade node, so if we get um, trade buildings, that should be beneficial. Even if they're not the best provinces. Let's just start with the ri richest ones. Like uh, here. Or here. Or here. Anywhere else? And that's it. That will be very good in the long run. And we are gaining money very quickly. Okay, um, how long until the truce is over? Five years. Well, we will be ready when you are. Just hope we don't get too much aggressive expansion, so we don't need to worry about coalitions. And that Poland doesn't start hating me. Still don't get... Um, we still didn't get the... Um, what's the name? Um, we still get, didn't get... I'm losing words today. <laughs> oh, right, the modifier to relations that says wants your provinces. That's the worst. I think I'll... Okay, Austria is the new Holy Roman Emperor, and they will probably remain Holy Roman Emperor for a while. Relations with Poland have been improved. Great. Bohemia, that is now our ally, should also have good relations with us. I don't know why they changed to friendly, but I'm very happy about it. Anybody else changing their attitude? Who would help me in a war against Muscovy? Bohemia wouldn't, because it's too far. Poland would if we had favors. Brandenburg, let me calculate that. Uh, Brandenburg actually likes enem our enemies, so it wouldn't work. Crimea, Crimea would. If they had manpower and money. That I think that will be sufficient for us to actually do our thing. So what we need to do is increase the number of favors we have with Poland and Crimea, which will take some time, but I'm fine with that. Obviously increase our military power. And uh, then if Crimea is still in debt, it's enough that if we pay that debt off. Oh, why is my devotion so low? Did I accept some event or whatever? Hmm. Pass advancement of religion act. What does it do? Unrest versus missionary strength. No, thank you. I never increase unrest. Accumulate money. What would that give me? 10 prestige for nothing. Sure. I'm making so much money that I can actually afford to do that. That'll be over in no time. Mm. Merchant suffering. Absent merchant in Krakow. Minus 10 power. 98. Well, tentacle power is not a lot, but... What's my trade power in Krakow? Let's see how this affects our income. So I'm always curious about this event. Let's um, put on the trade screen as well. 12.11. It shouldn't change much. Well, it is not much, but it would mm, it will last for a long time, so we about 10 ducats. I do prefer 10 points, 10 monarch points to 10 ducats, so I think I made the good decision. Well, it, if it was the Baltic Sea trade, no, that would be different. Okay, after we have amassed money and gotten free prestige from it, I will build markets in all the remaining provinces here. Also, it will be about time to attack the Teutonic Order by then. Mm, I think I will split my armies accordingly so we can invade all the provinces at the same time. 
so there is no risk of Poland attacking as well. Brandenburg, return 30 plus 117. They will love me forever. If they become the emperor, I can, I can take all the imperial territory and not worry about uh, demands for unlawful territory. Okay, let's make sure that they like us. Pomerania. Pomerania does hate me, but they have no allies. So if I fabricate claims on all their land, I might actually be able to take it in time. The truce is long, but that is by design. Truce with uh, Rika ends in 98. That's 10 more, 10 more years. I can annex the Teutonic Coder in the meantime. So yeah, that's that's fun. 30% um, progress for the for the rebellion. Eh, it's not that bad. How is my inflation? Oh, inflation is no longer being reduced. What I could do is use the papal points to get yearly inflation reduction, or I could just get it for use it for stability. Hmm, I think using it for stability might be the better choice. Also, when's the next military tech? When's the next tactics upgraded? Nine. Maybe it was a mistake to choose military focus. I should have chosen diplo focus. When can I switch that? Oh, that's a long time. That was a mistake. Should have never done that. I panicked because I had a very low military tech level. How long until I fulfill the mission? Hmm, a month or two. Two months. That was easy. And I must remember that we cannot reform our, na our nation. Okay, ten prestige. Rival of our rival. England's relation... Oh, really? England's opinion of us. Enemy of enemy, same. I could do that. Just for diplo power. A naval race against Denmark. I am sorry, but I cannot do that because that would exceed my force limit. But I will gladly improve my relations with England. Brandenburg can wait, they love me anyway. That will give me, what, diplo rep? Diplo rep is always good. Not that we need it right now, especially, but um, yeah, it's always good. How's the aggressive expansion? Well, it is dissipating rather slowly, but I think I will be able to annex the Teutonic Order without incurring too much trouble if I have claims on everything, and I do have claims on everything. Three more years until they die. Okay, we are at force limit, so nothing more to do here. What I'll do, I'll send two infantry here, two infantry here, and the rest just storm the castle. Income Bonanza, wonderful. That should increase my trade income quite significantly. Maybe it's already triggered and I didn't notice. Wavering loyalty of the clergy. Well, I never trusted them. It already triggered before. Okay, we have finished our claim against Pomerania. Let's get another one. So maybe if they still have no allies by the time the truce is over, I could just take everything. Or at least the estuary. Then I could start collecting trade in Lübeck as well. I mean, Baltic Sea trade node is so much better for us. Still, it, every little bit helps. As I keep saying. Alright, we can afford to get admin tech, but... I am about to conquer some lands, and we don't get a lot of admin income. So I will save those points for coring. And if we have any left after that, then I will use them. Right, I will even prepare my armies. You will be here. You will be here. Saint performs... Oh, wonderful! Free stability, yes please. And you go there. Pomerania has announced us as the rival. Oh, we oh, we haven't announced them as a rival yet. Hmm, well, we can rival Muscovy, so I will... I will try to remember to set a rival before we go to war with either of them again. Now, Poland. Still friendly? Still friendly. I hope that doesn't change after we fight uh, the Teutonic Order and annex them. Because they will have more claims on us then. Right, this seems to be a good setup. 
uh, when exactly does the truce end? May 92. So by the end of uh, 1491 I will need to start increasing my army maintenance. Oh, and I can now afford to get markets. Yeah, I forgot about that. Let's get them everywhere. Oh, should have started with that province. It's very poor. That's better. It's still in the proper trade node, and we are, um, well, we are very good traders. Okay, now our relations will increase because we have a Jagiellon again. Same dynasty, plus 15. For a noble, that's another Jagiellon. Um, Poland's opinion of Riga, plus 50. Yes, yes, please. Oh, he's crap. Well, he has decent military skill, but it doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, I really shouldn't have gone for military focus. Admin or Diplo only? Mostly admin. Oh, I have too many Diplo relations, really? Well, of course, because I allied Bohemia. Mm, still, it's worth it. Crimea, Lübeck, Bohemia, Brandenburg and Poland. I could break my, my alliance with Lübeck, but last time they were quite useful. And as we are strong and they are weak, we have tons of favors with them, so... Breaking the alliance seems uh, like a bad idea. Or would you accept vassalization from me, maybe? No, you would not. Alright then. Anything else I wanted to do? Yes, fabricate the next claim of Pomerania. Because the claims last for quite a long time. And then I can start fabricating in Moscovy as well, so that we can take all of this. Uh, right, we have um, gained some free Diplo power for completing the mission, and we have no missions available. Hmm, that's okay. Where did the buttons go? The buttons that I could click or unclick to have the mission pop up as... That's weird. My game might be out of sync. Right, that is enough for this episode. It's quite long already, so thank you very much for watching. And next time, I will attack the Teutonic Order. Okay, see you next time.